Ah, Oz, come in. Take us. What is the pig doing here? You said this was a high level meeting? Ah, uh, okay. So the reason I've called you here <laughs> is because I have to let you go. Go? Where? I mean to say, we need to drop you. Why do you keep making falling puns and pressing that button? Work, you stupid machine! Oh, you're right, McBacon. He, he wants us to test the ejector seat. Here, let us help. Wait, no! We switched it around last week. I sent you a memo, then you get the... The memo? Me memo? Now, listen, fellas, we had a deal. It was the guy with the purple hair that you were going to... No, don't do it. Ow! Uh, uh, traitors! Awesome! Fun! Hello, you wonderful dudes, dudettes, and dudes who defy description. I am Oz, this is Awesome Fun, and welcome to our Agency Fortnite Build. Over a series of tutorials, I will show you, block by block, how to create everything you see here. The buildings, terraforming, interiors, vehicles, and even a secret vault. Every episode is chapterized to help you navigate to where you need, and all the materials are listed in the description. This is a close approximation of the Fortnite agency, but not 100% exact. Thanks to Ashton, who requested this build in the comments. Right. Let's get into it. Just a reminder, folks, that this is the third of four parts where we are covering all of the interiors of our agency build behind me. Now, in the last episode, which there's a card for on the screen right now, we did this large building here, everything inside of there. Today, we're moving on to the side building where you get to do really cool things like the conference room with the falling chair that you saw. And, of course... A load of little offices and funky little devices. Like all of our tutorials, you can go down to the description below if you want to skip around to see how to build a specific thing. Now let's pick up where we left off in our last episode. Now it's time to move from this large building into one of the smaller ones. We're going to start with the one on this side. So you just hop up this side here and up this little side stair to this corridor. Now I've put an example in of the first thing we need to do in this corridor and that's we need to change these windows. So all we're going to do with the windows is basically pop them out, double them up, have the pillar on one side, stairs at the top and the bottom and the glass on this inside bit. So you do actually just take out this glass here, replace this on the outside, double it up just like so. Then we can see we've got a stair at the top and the bottom just like this and this. And then we do that and we're just going to do that on all of the windows that are down here and above the doorways pop in a stair up here like i have done here as well so let's do that first there we are with that done we're now just going to make this a bit more even by filling in this edge here all the way down and it'll just mean that the corridor will be a nice three wide all the way down now for the flooring, we're going to break out this bit here and replace it instead with bone blocks. We're going a little bit like the pattern we've got on the inside there. Bone blocks going around there and in the centre, we are going to put ourselves down some sea lanterns with this on top. And this will be right down the centre so it will keep this nice and light. So that's the pattern, bone blocks with this strip of sea lanterns and black carpet in the centre. So there is how it looks here on the upstairs bit. Very nice, and then finish this bit along the top as well. And now if we take a quick jump underneath, you'll see this created this really nice pattern in this bit underneath as well as help light it up. And the one thing I like to do to finish this off is just add these metal trap doors 
on the bottom like so and I think that looks really good it works both on the inside and the outside now we'll move from our corridor to this left hand room where we will begin now you can take out this section of the wall this part here is exterior wall so what I'm thinking is we'll do is we'll move one forward and start here for where we'll put this wall this wall is going to run from this edge along to this edge here and we're going to make this, I don't know if they call this kind of like a feature a wall, I'm not quite sure what they, they call it <laughs> uh, I'm not much for knowing the lingo of the interior design arenas, but there you go it's going to be like this so this is our wall design, it's going to be three high stripped acacia wood just like this then with a quartz stair in the pac-man formation then just quartz on top of it going up until it reaches the roof and this wall is just going to run from here along to the side here now don't worry about this window I'll tell you just build the wall block it up and I'll tell you what we'll do when we'll get to it that looks real nice gives a real good shape to the place now I think what I want to do is take the same pattern here and flip it up onto the top now I think we can put these upside down stairs all the way around including along here we're not going to put them along here because I think this works better but we will put them along there basically all the way around the top there's this room looking pretty good now I bet like the other ones what we're going to do is we're going to do this room and the next room the broader strokes and then come back and do the finer details so we'll come out and we'll head into this room here now what you want to do in this room here is you'll have these windows we'll want to finish them off like I've done on this one so similar to a design in the corridor we've got a stair at the top and the bottom slabs on the very top up there and then just bringing the pillars down to the ground so you want to do that on these windows we'll then want to go around probably I would say from starting from shall we say there go around the bottom edge of these with our stairs to give them a nice uh, finishing so that gives you the idea just take it to the same place on there and then we want to take it all the way around the entire roof on the top as well upside down stairs and we want to take this wall and build it up until it's all the way to the top as well still a bit dark but looking nice all coming together nice this room now in this room we actually do want to change the floor i want it to be something oh hello friend or man what are you have to down there don't you be leaving that line around my nice build dude don't you be doing it we're going to make this uh light grey concrete this floor for this entire room so let's switch that out now now that we've got the floor changed this room's got two pillars in it so we're going to do the same design as the other one I've marked where they're going to go here so we come to this end bit go one two three four on the fifth break out one two three and make it just a plus sign like that and we'll come down to the bottom we'll come at the very back go one two and on the third block we start another plus so going up three with one on either side and then these are just going to have the cyan terracotta reaching all the way up to the roof and there's our lovely pillars in place this room looking good and i decided to move this pillar one further forward so a gap of three and then on the fourth here because i thought it looked better now we're going to turn to this room here where we are going to put in a desk now we're going to use upside down quartz stairs for this so we'll use that dirt to help us place the first one and you're just going to make a sort of c shape just like this that's going to be the desk itself then behind the desk we're going to want to put in a chair so we're going to start that by putting in something to support our minecart just some kind of rail so it can go on there then we can get rid of the rail and it becomes a chair then we just place one white banner behind it and we've got ourselves <laughs> no the perfect chair <laughs> just like that when you actually place it correctly a nice quite a simple desk it does blend in a bit with there but I think it, it looks nice now the next thing we've got is this player head thing now this is a, a sort of mod uh, that I've got to that you can buy from the wandering trader these mini blocks and you can get every block in the game just a miniature version and so this is supposed to be like I don't know computer monitor or something like that it just looks cool and add something else into the build 
Now we'll turn our attention to the back area. So we're going to put in one of our usual plant pots here that is made up of podzol, just with an item frame on either side. And then we want to grab the fern to put inside of it some bone meal and our white map that goes on either side just like so then of course we'll want to do our trigger command to make this invisible but we need to be standing uh, right next to it to make sure it works to make our invisible item frames so that looks nice then we'll put a little bench in for any visitors arriving we'll use the same design that we've got in the other place and let's put this desk put this opposite even the desk so here's a little chair that people can sit in when they come to visit the office just like so and then i think the last thing that we'll want to put in over in this corner here is a little filing cabinet so let's try two iron blocks like so it's a little bit tight in here but I think this will work well. Then if we get grey carpet and item frame, so item frame, grey carpet, let's do our invisible. And then we get ourselves a little filing cabinet to go in the side there. Very cool. Now, um, what else do I think we'll put in here? We should probably put in some pictures on the wall. There are some pictures that look really good for this... Uh, that suit the kind of aesthetic. So let's go for the two. Yeah, we'll go with that one. The Vigo the Carpathian, as I like to call it. So we'll get one painting on this side here. That I think looks quite good. And then we'll maybe just get one. So I think what we'll have to just do is go for the small one. Yeah, I think that one suits the room quite nicely. So there we go, that's our basic decorations done in this room. Now I think what we'd like to do next in terms of decoration is this is quite a big open wall here and then we've got this strip down here. So what I think we should do is put in our banner that we've got in the middle of the hallway, just like so. This banner hanging down up there, we'll put one of them on the long thin bit in between the windows. And then if we pop outside, we'll put one of our big sort of logo things, one of these ones on the wall, or one like this. So let's do that. Just copy those things and put them in, in those places. So there we go. One logo on the wall, one banner on this wall here, and this office is looking nice. Don't worry about the lighting. We're going to do that last. So this loom is looking fantastic, looking really good. Time to move to this one here. So the first device we're going to put in here, it's going to be in this back corner here. So let's see, we're going to put it, I think, here. Now, what we need to do here is a bit strange. We kind of need to break through this wall because we're using observers. So we need to go this way because if I remember correctly, an observer will face, yep, that way. So if we do this, and go back through, two observers facing that way, two facing into each other will give you a flashing red light. Now on top of this we are going to put iron blocks, two of them like so, with levers on the top, and then we're going to get an item frame and put two music discs in it. Now if we go and do our usual Oh, maybe we can't. Yep, trigger. Perfect. And there, that's like her reel-to-reel -reel recording device. It looks really cool. Then next to this, we're going to put ourselves... No, that's okay. He's not here. <laughs> He's somewhere else. We're going to put ourselves in a filing cabinet. And this is, once again, something I think that we'll need to put in going backwards. Because we're going to use this time dispensers. Yep. So they, that's so strange, they face towards you when they come down. Just hurry up and burn to death, zombie, you're driving me crazy. Okay, so that gives us our dispensers facing this direction, which I think makes them look much more drawer-like. Then we're going to do the same thing that we did in the other room, if I can find it. Carpet's always a hard thing to find. 
in your inventory. Make some invisibles. Cool, and we've got a nice filing cabinet in the back. Now we're going to turn around and come over this direction to put in another desk. So this time we're going to make it a white desk by doing one like that. And then we're going to have an upside down stairs this way. So a nice and straightforward desk. Then if we get ourselves a quick stair just to act as our chair, stair as a chair. And that gives us the chair behind it. Can it not be stuck to it more than that? I think it can. I'm sure it can. Okay, I think what we will do is this. There we go. It's if the chair is pulled away from the desk. Yeah, that looks cool. Then on this desk, we'll place ourselves uh, some item frames here to give us some desk drawers. And let's flip these round so that they face up the way like this. And of course, make them invisible. Then on the desk, we're going to put this time some powered rail. And this is going to be like a computer keyboard. So we'll make that invisible as well. So that's sort of like the keyboard. And, and then we'll try for the monitor. Like this <laughs> mini chiseled polished blackstone. It looks a bit weird, but I think it looks okay. Now we'll come over and let's put another desk over in this position here. In fact, I think probably right here is a good place to put it. So this is going to be a desk exactly the same design as we just did there, but we're going to use polished andesite for it instead. So just make our desk shape like so. In fact, I think we should make the center block. Yep, a slab as well so that we can hide the back of it. Because I'd like to put this banner in and I'll put this banner pattern in the description. This is like a computer monitor kind of background. It looks pretty cool. I'm just not sure exactly how to place it. Okay, I got this figured out. We're going to place a full Andy block in there. And then this, yeah, this looks cool. Quite a simple thing to make, but uh, a funky looking monitor. Then to further decorate this desk, go for one of our favorites. The good old comparator that you can light up. And then we'll place on this side a daylight detector. They're again cool because you can interact with those things. Then we want to have a couple of monitors up there. And what I thought would be quite cool for this is we use our item frames. And then the maps I've got, one is a map of this kind of area. What's if it's like CCTV? Uh, and then this is a map of the void, so the end void. And let's hide those, of course. And see, this is pretty cool. You've got this little flat screen monitors here, one's off. Got this little computer thing here. Pretty cool. Now we'll turn to this corner here where we're going to put in another desk. For this one, we'll again grab the polished andesite stairs, place two of them upside down with this on top of them here. Then we're going to place in four concrete, just like this, of the uh, black variety. Then on this side, we're going to come over and do one to the other side. Now that's hoping that this works with the banners, otherwise we might have to change it. So we'll slap down this as our keyboards for this computer. And then the banner we've got for this, oh yeah, that works well. And you can't really see it at the bottom, so we don't really need to change the desk. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's kind of like techno screen kind of color one. That's, that's really funky. Then I think the last thing we'll do is put in two more filing cabinets, shall we? Let's put them in here. Just get rid of them now. Pop in those, make them invisible, boom, invisible, boom, invisible. And we'll also put another filing cabinet right here as well. There we are, and I decided for a little change to put the handles facing a little higher up. So once again, like many of the other rooms, you might decide that you want to use a whole bunch of these, 
or just the same one over and over, or some variations thereof. It's really fun building little techie desks because they, they're really cool and you can have lots of fun doing some different ideas. Now, I think the other thing we need to do in this room is put something up in here, maybe a, maybe a banner up here. We need something, maybe like a logo there, or maybe the logo would be better there, and we can just do something lighting-wise in there when we come to do the lighting. So let's go for a logo on this wall, the same seal as we've got outside and in the other room, and we'll go for a banner coming down here because it fits in nicely, and then we'll look at the lighting for both of these rooms. So there's our logo. I've made a slightly bigger one than usual because I had to make it a double wide just because of the, the sort of space we had there, but quite a cool little seal design. And then just up on here is the same banner that we've been using throughout the design. So the next thing we need to do is do some lighting in this place. So what we'll do is try and again hide as much in the floor that doesn't compromise the design too much as we can. And we'll put some into the ceiling and we'll of course do the same in here and we'll put doors on here here dark oak and the outside as well now the kind of lighting that we're going to do is probably going to take maybe for the office we'll use this type of lighting and we'll use the sort of strip lighting design for the inside so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and place it now and then show you what i went with so big test now Hopefully there won't be anything spawned in here. No, there's not. Okay, it seems to be all good. Okay, let's take a seat. Yeah, it looks good, man, when we're sitting at, sitting at the desk, enjoying our desk and office. But yeah, let's have a look and see. So we've added a bunch of lighting. We've used this kind of lighting that we've used in many places. I am still wish that there was maybe more lighting pointing up at this, but up in the ceiling, we just all did is extend that out a little bit, put a lantern in there with a trapdoor on the top, and of course you've seen this type of light here before as well that's been used previously. We also went for this kind of U-shape here with sea lanterns underneath it to light up this area, and this place, yeah, looking pretty good, pretty well lit up. We've also gone for a couple of sunken ones in the floor at the back here, but that's that office looking great and with a door now here yep still nothing spawned i have done flown away and flown back a few times so it seems good this is definitely my favorite thing the reel to reel recorder so we sunk some lighting down at the back here because it was pretty dark we put some up there and used this kind of down lighting again to light up that went for a light above the door because i just felt this area it's fine lighting here lighting all around the pillars lighting underneath here but it still felt a little bit dark here in fact, it still does. But we just went for lighting underneath all of the windows, sunken one around all of the pillars. I went for just higher up one at the back there because I just felt this again was a bit dark. And we went for a big long strip right across the top. So looking good. And with that, we have completed the upper floor of this building. Quick postscript, uh, we needed to actually cover this, I didn't mention this, there's uh, levers, four levers there and I just covered them with acacia trapdoors and I added a light in there just because I wasn't happy, it was still a bit dark and dingy pointing down on that banner. So now we can say that this area is completed. Right, now it's time to go for the lower floor, so quite easy to get to, we'll just drop off here, break our ankle a little bit and come to this entrance here, the place that takes us out to the helipad, this bit here. Now what we're going to do for this room is we're going to go on the outer uh, ring or layer, whatever you want to call it. We're going to put ourselves down the sea lanterns with the black carpet. Then we're going to have the polished black stone, then the bone block. Favorite to place, one of my favorite to place blocks. Another black stone. Then we're going to do the same sea lantern carpet and then you'll probably have a little bit left in the middle that you can fill with bone block. So I'm going to put that in place and then we'll have a look. It should look a lot like this but in here. There's our lovely lobby. So much lovely bone block to walk on. Listen to the great noise. Isn't it fantastic? And also just underneath the ex these doorways here, this exterior one, these ones here, I just made these uh, brick. I meant to make these brick as well actually. So don't forget to do that when you come to your build, just just like that, just like that. Now we've got these, basically, there's three rooms downstairs, but there's actually five. 
No, there's actually six. <laughs> there's, but we're going to look at the main ones just now. So this is an office room, this one in here. And here's the wall pattern that we're going to use. We're going to use three stripped acacia, the quartz block, and then we're going to go up for the rest of the way four with the bricks. And we're going to put this along here, leave this doorway here. This is going to be a, a bathroom, a little bathroom. Then we're going to have the wall coming all the way down here and touching here. So wall going along that way. The wall will come along this way. You will have a space here to make sure you light it up, fill it up, whatever you want to do. And we're going to take this wall along and we're going to take it down and touch this pillar here as well. That will give us a nice rectangular office space to work with. So that's our design for there. Then once you've got that space in, we're going to put in this office wall here. Well, this is a conference room. And the pattern we're going to go for is, once again, three stripped acacia, but this time mushroom stem and white concrete alternating to create a striped pattern. And you can put this all the way along here, all the way around here, and we'll also take it all the way along the back here. Now, this isn't just going to be a conference room. There is also a photocopying room and a bathroom that go in here as well, but we'll sort them later on. Now, the third and final room is this kind of relaxing lounge room. And the style for that is, for these uh, one, two, and then the wall going down, if you look to the right of the doorway, this is light grey concrete. And that just goes floor to ceiling all the way around here and around here. Then for the rest of the way on and the rest of the way around, we're going to use the stripped dark oak wood just going up like that. Now, because this is a, a wall that leads through into there, you will just have to build in front of this one like here so you could recover these blocks underneath if you wanted as well and we'll also put at some point a doorway that goes from here into the next place so those are your three different room design of walls that you're going to go ahead and do so we'll get those in place and this thing will be starting to take some real good shape so here are our walled up rooms all ready to go. So the lounge area here, then cross over to the office area. Looking nice. I decided to end the pattern there. Just it's felt better giving it a little bit of space to breathe, but looking good. And then in the main big room here, I really, really like this pattern. And we're going to have to, yeah, obviously sort the window and the roof when it comes to that. But it's something that feels like it shouldn't work, but it does. Now, we also want to add in the room for our bathroom and for our cupboard in here. So to do that, uh, we're just going to basically come on the second block back from the door here. Um, basically put a full width of one along this way and then break out one in from the end on this side, one in from the end on this side. And then just come to the central point here and do that wall there. We'll just make this the same for now as this. And we'll sort the rest of that out as we begin to design the little rooms inside. There we have two lovely little rooms in here. They'll probably look a little bit different once we actually design them. But that'll do for now. Now we have to add in the roof, this building. I think we want to make use, although I didn't in my original design, but I hadn't put in as much lighting because obviously this is survival. So we want to try and make use of these lights that are already embedded in the floor of the room above. So I've kind of built a part of the roof so you can see how we're going to do it. We're going to do the upside down stairs going all the way around. That's how we'll deal with the window when we reach it. We'll cover the light with a lovely iron trapdoor and then just slabs everywhere else. And this should give us a nice pattern throughout the whole place. And we'll add other lights in as well, but that'll look cool for the ceiling there, I think. Then if we come through to this room here, we just do the same thing. I've put in part of the roof. So just the same style of design you're going for, for the roof as well. And of course, with this room here, you don't need to worry about the roof because once again, the lovely floor here, I think makes a pretty cool roof. So let's get these two roofs placed and that'll be another big step forward. So here are our roofs looking fantastic with the pattern on the top there looking really good. A nice finish there. I also actually, while I had the stairs out, decided to put upside down stairs all the way around here just to give this a nicer sort of finish to this bit as well. And then in here, we've got another great finish that's really going to help with the lighting. And I also decided to make this wall 
just plain because it looked weird having the strips underneath the windows. It looked weird. I just think it looks better having that. And there's going to be monitors and stuff on that wall. So we're going to turn now to doing the bathrooms. So here is one bathroom. And what I've done is taken out a bit of the wall, take out more of this wall. But just to show you, this is the space that you can start off with. And what we're wanting for ourselves is a kind of three by three area in the center that's going to be our bathroom. So if we fill this in like this, you can see we'll be left with a three by three. Now we're going to make this bone blocks, of course, because <laughs> you know that I love the bone block and then we'll make the center block a lantern like so. Now obviously I want to fill this uh, roof in, uh, roof wall. And it's just much more toilet-esque, toilet looking that you see in there. Now we actually want to put in some of the toilet facilities. So to do that, we're going to get ourselves a quartz stair, jump up this way. This is going to be our sink. Then we're going to put a quartz slab on either side. Now what that allows us to do with the bucket of water and the new water logging is make a little cool sink like that. Just a little, little bit of water really funky. Then we're going to use our void map and item frame to give ourselves a nice mirror on there. And of course, we better, as always, make it invisible like so. Just make it that little bit neater. So that gives us a nice sink. What else do you need in the toilet? Well, somewhere to go to the toilet. So for that, we need a cauldron, a lever and a birch trap door. We'll pop down toilet seat there. And of course, it's operational, <laughs> you can see. So this is uh, really good. I think the last thing we'll do is put in a little bit of black carpet in there to give us a bit of matchingness uh, with the floor. We'll, of course, want to take these stairs up. And I think what we'll do is I actually have got to show you, I made a little roof just like this in this cupboard here. I think we'll do the same thing upside down stairs in that in this bathroom as well. Uh, once we bring the walls up a little bit further. The very last thing we can do now is grab ourselves this funky banner that's just got a little bit of decoration on it. A little bit of the, what do you call it? Grey pally, white pally. Just to give it, make it look a bit like a sort of towel that you've going on, got going on there. And that gives us a really funky little bathroom. Now you're going to just use this exact same kind of design but rearrange it a little bit. And we're going to put that into this bathroom that sticks off the side of here. So I'll just leave you to create that. I'll show you what I do on my one. But you can just riff off of this design. You know the toilet, you know the sink, and you know the style. Here we go. So um, that's our first toilet, obviously, that we saw. I decided to embed this light in the wall. It actually looks okay. I actually love the swirling pattern in there. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's jump around and see this other toilet in here. A little bit. Bigger, but a little bit lower on the ceiling. Once again, we got the flushing on the go. Some towels to dry your hands. Lights under here. Looks really nice. Now, what we want to do next is add in the flooring for these two main rooms. So the flooring around the outside edge of this one, we're going to go for a black carpet with the good old sea lanterns underneath. Then we're going to get polished andesite and give it in a straight line up here and in a double line across here is for a bit of an interesting pattern in the floor and we can also in this place and do the same thing around the outside the sea lantern black carpet in the center we'll do like a rectangle of the polished andesite and then what you can do i've already done it here is just put sea lanterns and carpet in the middle of here uh, to light up this little cupboard so let's get these floors put in place so here we go, some nice flooring in position and ready to be built on too. Don't, by the way, don't think we've forgotten about this room. We're coming to that. We're coming to it. So here we go in this room. And one thing I decided to do was to move this Apollo Stanisite one layer out so that we could do something else that I wanted to do with the conference table. So the first thing that we need to add in here is our conference table. So. We're going to start by counting up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so. Now we'll surround this with upside down 
quartz stairs. So this is a, a big sort of conference table where you can hold your meetings, make your plans. So that's a conference table. And then for the conference chair, if we're going to start by putting this block in temporarily and then putting two upside down stairs facing it. Then on this one, the back end chairs, we're going to put down one of our good old white banners. Then we can now get rid of this block and place in a minecart to act as the chair. And I like the minecart because it allows you to actually sit in the chair. And putting these on both sides will help hold it as well. Nice and in position so you can sit at the top of your table. But we're not done yet. So we want a chair like that at the top here. We want a chair like that at the bottom of the table. And then for the chairs that are in between, what we're going to have instead is the, a similar, similar-ish sort of design. Um, but we're not going to use the white banner on the back. So let's see, we'll put this chair here. We'll just take that carpet off of there. And now this is probably going to be the hardest bit. Hey, <laughs> he does it. And then utterly destroys everything that he just made. So it's okay. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> okay, the chair is fixed um, now. Okay, if I can stop destroying everything by mistake, now we can put in the actual chair bit itself. You might want to make this block here a black black stone, if that bugs you. And then we have a little chair. So the chairs on the side will just be small ones there. So we're going to have two of these chairs on each side. So we'll have four chairs all together. And then we will have one at the end that looks just like that one. Here's our lovely conference room with the chairs. Now what we've done in the center is in the center three here, we've put sea lanterns with white carpet above them. Then we've put some heavy weighted pressure plates, just as little table decorations. Now things I've added that we've seen before are our usual banners here, here, and here, and our usual seal symbols there as well. Now this is the monitors that we've used in the room above, uh, and for this one I thought we would have one uh, view of the actual island itself. It looks a bit weird in the map, but it's cool. Um, and this is a sort of view of, this is where the island is itself in this corner here. And this is all the terrain out there. And that's actually the Guardian farm, pretty cool. So like a monitor there, and then we use our void map as if these ones are turned off. So again, just some nice surveillance monitors there. Now that's the main things done in this room, the main decoration. Now in this little cupboard in here, all that's in here is a little um photocopier i believe so we're going to use two blast furnaces pointing into each other so you can't see the outside with just smooth stone slab on the top and that voila is our photocopier you can maybe also put a filing cabinet here like uh, actually we do we've got the stuff for it right here let's put a filing cabinet in the corner just like the one that we used upstairs so once again we'll have to break into this wall Place the dispensers like this. Replace the wall back in behind us. Pop in our item frames. This will work just as well as the grey, I would say. We'll look down. No, didn't think it would work. You can't crouch and use the command at the same time. There you go. A little filing cabinet in the corner there, looking very nice. Now we can come through and throw some details into this office in here. So we want to start by getting ourselves a little desk. Now I would say that we probably want the desk itself to be here at the front. So we're going to put in a stair facing that way, a stair facing this way, and we'll get ourselves a slab in the middle, just like so. Then we can ditch these ones. Now the chair we're going to put in behind here is just going to be the same white chair that we used in the conference room with the banner backing. There's our chair, just the, the same design. Now we're going to throw up on the back bit here some monitor screens. So we're actually going to put in three and three for six all together. Then we'll grab our item frames. And for the moment, I'll leave these off. I might create some more 
maps in the future, but we'll use our void map for now, which kind of yeah works as a sort of monitor screen. Now we want to throw up probably some plants into this office, so we're going to use the same plant design that we've been using a lot. So we'll just can break out that one. We can place that here. Now we will have to change this ones here out for some of these fellas so that we can actually fit this in. But this this is okay. You, you kind of don't notice the carpet stuff too much, thankfully, as you get going with this design. Because that is really, I think, Mushroom Islands are where I'm going to build everything from now on so that we don't have to design things uh, with mobs in mind. Now we want to throw over here a nice relaxing sofa for chilling out on when, uh, you know, you need to chill out. Now we're going to use dark oak slabs for this. So we're going to start out by breaking out these, these two here. Then we'll get rid of this bit in the wall behind. Yeah, we're, we're, I've had to rip out some of the walls so we can do this. What we want is these two trapdoors, ghost placement, to be in this block here. Which I know is kind of, seems kind of strange, but it works. And then we place these two down here. Then we're going to need to place these two up here. So we'll need to do something about the carpet underneath with this on either side and that makes our sofa quite a cool little sofa design I think so yeah we just need to change this and this here to instead be our slabs and that's a little sofa for chilling out on now when you've got visitors visiting we'll also need some people for the office chairs we're going to do that very simply with this so we're just going to come and we'll place one stair here one stair here no, we'll need to put them further apart than that, won't we? Okay, we'll do them here and here, otherwise the trapdoors won't place. And we're just going to place trapdoors here to make these small little chairs that you can sit in when you come to visit the office. And that really cool little office. Now we just want to put a couple of things onto the desk to decorate that. So we'll put pressure plate there as some kind of document or some sort of thing, and the emerald block computer monitor or ornament I don't really know it's whatever you want it to be but that makes this little room here complete as well and now time to move on to this one in here so in this room here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace this double wide bit here all the way to the end with clay I know it's a bit strange but again Trying to just emulate really what is in <laughs> the actual Fortnite map to the best of my ability. So this whole strip here, clay. Then we'll mark out a spot there, here, and count one, two, three, four. Break one there and there, and then what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, and boom, that one in the middle. Now, hopefully, if this is in the right place, and we break on through to the other side, as the doors would say, we can put in, yes, a door in just the perfect place. So there'll be a door here that'll take us into this room. So we want to embed some sea lanterns in the ground here with a trap door on the top of them but we'll, we'll come to that we'll do that in a second now in this in between this bit here we're going to put one of our classic flower plot per 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 flower you, you know what if you don't know what we're building by now we've built like ten thousand of them in fact i'm not even going to show the full building of this there we have it now we'll uh, turn around to this section here and in this section here we're going to break out four by four and break all of this out and then we'll do the same on this section over here there we are then we're just going to wrap if I can get these to go yep wrap these around the inside of the squares all the way around there we go now the next thing we want to do is actually extend this wall like this obviously you don't have to do it as solid as this but we want it to stick back into there and just on the edge you've got this bit here this bit sticking back and then I'm just gonna fill 
this whole thing in. Although, of course, I've done it completely wrong because you want it to be going straight up and down, not this way. <laughs> so just like that, with it now going correctly up and down the right way, now we want to throw in a, a couple of chilling out sofas in this place here. So what we're going to use for this black stone slab, black wool, black carpet, and black banners. So let's put a sofa in here. I think actually in the, in the map it sits here, if I'm going to be precise. So we do two black stone slabs there. I like this texture, it's very fun. The wool with this on top of it, and then we can just place two banners behind, and then we've got a nice sofa. Now we'll put the same thing, but this time we're going to put it in this bit here. So nice and simple to make. A very easy sofa chair to add in. Now we'll throw in a table here. So for this we're going to use birch stairs. Facing in this direction. Then in the middle a slab with some brown carpet that we'll just place on top like this and then we'll embed into the top of here one of our monitor screens and once again we'll keep it off just now till I decide what I'm going to do about making some more maps. So that gives us the, the basic part of this done. Now I think that we'd like to also mark some areas where we'll want some more lights. So I'd say here here, here, and here. So we'll go on a, a, a spree downstairs of embedding all these lights. Lights here, sea lanterns down there, and we'll put all those in. And also, we're going to put up some paintings as well. So I think just like a two wide, for example, will go pretty good in this area here. If we, what am I saying? Two wide. It's gonna gonna be have to be a one wide in that particular space. Oh, that was the one I wanted. Okay, that one will do. So I'm going to go and place some paintings, get these lights embedded underneath the floor, and then I'll show you what we got. Okay, so we're all done in this room now. So let me show you what we did. Obviously, we embedded the lighting as discussed. I also added in this little table with end rods. It wasn't in the original design, but I just felt this bit was a little bit dark. Also added these lamps in here and in here as well and you can see where we've got the paintings in here in here as well oh got wandering trader in as well now don't forget to go around at the end now just put in all these doorways so we've got this doorway that takes us into this room here and i did add two more plant pots there because i just thought it was good and in terms of lighting i put in one of our usual lights that we've used a lot of there because i just thought that bit was a little bit dark then i added this light in the center because this room's pretty well lit you could Maybe throw in a couple more of these on either side here. I can leave that up to you. But I like this little light that we designed. That's the chain hanging down with our funky wall in the middle between the sea lanterns and the hoppers on the bottom. So that's a fun little thing. And then obviously we've got doors for here and here as well. So that is the finish of this room. So we can close out of there. We've been in that one, so we can close out there. And then if we come in and just check out the office, I just did this quite big, 3 by 4 with the acacia trapdoors. There's also acacia trapdoors on the tops of the blocks as well. You can just maybe make out and a double chain hanging down from this section. So that leaves this all well lit up too. So now we can also remember that we need to put in this door here that's got two trapdoors in the middle because it is a 3 wide. And we can call this section in here officially done. However, there is one additional thing we can do here, and this is only, it's like a play feature. <laughs> you can do it if you want to, but it's totally up to you. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in a funky little trap where we can hit a button when we're at the head of the meeting and dispense this person here from the meeting by force. So this is basically where we want something to drop away, and this is where we want the button to be. So if we then drop down here, I've built a little bit underneath here. So I guess what we'll need first of all is this here will need to be a button. And I'll just say I made this redstone myself, but I do not know very much about <laughs> redstone. <laughs> okay, so what we uh, have got is this is the, the where the signal is going to come in. So it's going to come in and it's going to light up 
this uh, block here. Then we're going to come down, if we can. Yep. Just like, it's hard to climb on top though. Okay, I removed these, hopefully that'll make that a little, little easier of a task. So here, the signal comes down, it touches here, so let's get rid of these, they don't do anything. So the signal comes down here, it comes across one, two, and three in this direction. Then we're gonna rise it back up again. So let's uh, put in the initial bit of redstone here. We're going to have redstone dust here and here and here and here. So when you press a button up on top of there, it's gonna send signal, it's gonna come along to here. Now, I think what we wanna put here is a redstone torch. So when this signal lights up, that will turn off. Now we need to get to the other side of it. So here on this side, we'll come out for one and two, and these are both gonna have repeaters on them. Now I think, this is helping to slow things down, but it, it might be doing nothing at all, these repeaters, because I really don't <laughs> don't know enough about uh, the redstone to do it. Now, if we look this way, we can stick on our sticky piston, and all being well, this should be right underneath the chair. So instead of having that kind of block there, we'll put on one of these instead. So now, if we come up to the top, right, and we place a button on this block here, we hit this, It'll probably happen, yeah, just a, a, enough for us to see. So when, when we push this, this block is retracted for just a couple of seconds, and then it's pushed out. So what we now then want to do is fix up this floor, so you can't quite tell that there's something, <laughs> something hidden underneath there. So block up this and this. So hopefully, oh, and here. All nice and neat. Let's check that doesn't affect our machine in any way. No, it's still coming in and out. Now we want to get this super secret box, so you can hide this box. Let's hide it here, and let's hope we can get it to place. What a surprise! Jeez, nothing Minecraft's ever simple in survival mode. <laughs> so here's our super secret box, and inside our box we're gonna have mine carts and concrete powder. So you do have to reset this trap afterwards. So let's quickly break out some of the additional blocks here. Here's the awesome escape. Take two. Oh, he does it. Oh, I'm in the light. <laughs> I really did not expect to do that on the, the second time. So now we'll make sure there's a, a block in front of the piston and we can place a bit of our concrete powder here because this has got gravity. So we'll need to get a rail down first and there we are. Quick break like that. So now you wouldn't tell, you can't tell that the block underneath is any different. And if we sit in our own chair and hit the button, and we go and look, fingers crossed, there is no minecart there. Yeah, it's gone! So you will, of course, have to then replace the concrete powder just like so and put yourself in a new minecart and everything each time. But if we quickly take a look down here, here is our minecart. So if we left this off, they would just fall to the ground and sleep with the fishes. Now, I think that, of course, we need to test this. Ow, ow, ow. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought I heard somebody nearby who might be interested in having a meeting with us to discuss this. Well, hello, sir. Uh, could you accompany me for a moment to the meeting room? Listen, we both know why you're here. You're not even going to look at me while I'm talking to you? Well, listen to me, sir. Listen to me, okay? Your prices, they're just too high, okay? The prices are too high. You're going to need to lower the costs, all right? You won't? Okay, fine. If you won't drop the price, we'll have to drop... You! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh no, the concrete... Th no, this didn't work out at all. No, no. Okay, so... Okay, so there is one downside here, and that is that unfortunately the concrete powder turns to concrete. And so it doesn't drop the person to the ground. I guess if you just use sand instead, that wouldn't happen. Don't worry, we'll finish this off. Glub, glub, glub.
And that is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. I'm going to get on with a bit of surveilling and secret agent stuff. And I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, I loved spending this time with you. And I hope you enjoyed spending this time with me. We've only got one part left in our agency build that will finally finish all of the exteriors and interiors. We're going to have a secret vault and lots of secret tunnels. It's going to be awesome. So make sure to come back and check that out. And I'll see you next time, folks. Take care out there. Bye-bye.